my experience playing uh, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. This is a great game. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, really, uh, this couple of live streams, by the way, I got playing in the background here. Um, the game does have some hiccups there, uh, depending on connection and whatnot. Um, so that's that's something that could easily kind of be fixed um, in general. It's definitely a reminder of uh, if you played Vermintide before, it's going to feel fairly fi uh, familiar. Um, I've played just the one class. I didn't really have enough time to play the other classes, unfortunately, which I wish I could. Uh, the second class seems interesting. Uh, you got the regular soldier class, yeah, which is the guardsman, essentially, and then you have a Algren, which is the big beefy dude. Um, most classes will have a male and female uh, uh, choice, but the Algren's only male. Uh, it's, that's not too bad. It's, it's fair. It, I mean, if it's within the floor, uh, most Algren's are born. Pretty much all Algren's are essentially born male, so is what it is, it's fine. Uh, don't have any problems with that at all. Uh, the main gameplay, like I said, it does follow like Vermintide 2. If you've played Vermintide 1 or 2, you pretty much feel at home in this one. Uh, the main goal of the game is just to complete missions. You have different types of missions. I believe this one here is to repair. Um, you could go ahead and do assassination. Um, you could also go ahead and do Things, there's like retrieval, I think, is another one. Um, if I'm wrong, yeah, just let me know I'm wrong. <laughs> no big deal there. Again, this was just a uh, beta test. Um, so anything that was wrong, I noticed there was some crashing. Um, <clears throat> the game does recognize that when a game crashes and uh, lets you go ahead and fill that out as a report. The main kicker about Dark Tide is that it has a lot of potential. Um, to go ahead and just add to it. I mean, it's set in the 41st millennia. Um, right now, the enemies are mainly just like cultists of Nurgle, um, and some chaos cultists, but mainly you'll see a lot of Pox Walkers, which come in mass. Um, just a lot of dudes just coming at you. But definitely a lot, uh, not really any like chaos marines or anything like that. You get like yourself a chaos Ogryn. So, again, make you feel like the 41st millennium, you shouldn't be really seeing any marines. Um, you know, if you are seeing Chaos Space Marines, it's kind of kind of fucked. Uh, there's no way your actual character would probably beat a Chaos Space Marine. Um, so, like heavily armored cultists that you see right here, he's kind of tough to fight, but, you know, overall, you could, you could, eat, you could take him on, you know. But like I said, it got a lot of potential uh, to add on to this because it is in Warhammer 41st, you know, 40k. Um, you could do like a Tyranid invasion. You could do uh, other Chaos Cultists. You could do. Um, I, w I wouldn't go so far as to say maybe Orcs. You could probably get away with Orcs. The only problem with that is that again, you know, Orcs are fairly strong compared to normal humans. Um, Tyranids would be okay because they come in swarm and mass. It would just be kind of hard to see you fight against like a, you know, anything above like a Tyranid warrior. <laughs> um, but like I said, like other chaos troops definitely can be a, a valid selection here. Just because it's the main focus of the game is like kind of a dark Imperium setting or like rogue traitorish. Where you're like normal people, um, some of you could be a psyker, taking on like these like kind of cults that are going on. You know, you could probably even see like maybe like a Necromunda uh, type of expansion to this too. That would be really cool. But maybe you could do like instead of just hive gangers uh, instead of just cultists. Again, you know, it's just a lot of neat little things you could add on to this game. It has a lot of potential, uh, and it's definitely going to be really great once it comes out. Um, currently on Steam, this is only $34.99, which is fairly cheap compared to most other games that have been releasing. And this has excellent quality, by the way. Like, they went all out for this game, so $34 is, like, 
you know, really like a steal when you think about it. You could pay um, the normal $60 and you'll get some DLC extras, which mostly is cosmetics. Um, it did show that there is going to be maybe like a cosmetic shop in which you could go ahead and purchase some things with uh, world money it looks like, um, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, it looks like most of the things you could get is essentially gear like you would in Vermintide to where when you collect cooler stuff, you know, you can just add on to it and, uh, just make your character just look cool normally by just leveling up in general by collecting better gear. Um, system is like a gear score based system, so the better, gore, the better score you have, the easier some enemies might be. Um, but overall it's just massive horror, it's you know, good fun, just smack around them. Now, you could possibly have like, a sense that maybe you can't have uh, not in this particular one, but maybe like a spin off from this where you could have it like be like a bunch of space rings doing this. But again, you know, I think you're more looking towards like the action game, which is Space Marine 2, which will be coming out later today. Um, but I feel like where this is at is a pretty good state right now. Um, of course, there's some bugs to fix. I, I really had just been having a hard time keeping online after a match from getting kicked. Um, but that's probably just servers being at, having an issue. Um, yeah, some guys will go ahead and just jump over stuff and whatnot to try to get to you, which is pretty awesome. But I mean, overall, the game's fantastic. The game's fun to play, um, very easy to pick up. And um, it's just overall just normal. It's a good time with friends. That's the main thing with Vermintide, Vermintide 2. Um, especially you just having a good time with your buddies messing around your characters have like this neat little banter that goes on in the background and uh, it's just fun you know that's the whole point of these type of games just to play have fun um, the main thing too is uh, when you do select your character you go ahead and create a backstory for them and you select you end up selecting like their voice and depending on the kind of backstory you have will depend on their script that they'll say uh, when interacting with other characters. Uh, so it's pretty interesting what combinations you can get. And you can kind of mix and match uh, certain things that make a very unique character. Or at least it'll feel unique when you play a game uh, with other people. But <clears throat> Vermintide 2 will be coming out later. Uh, it should be later this year year not too long now i think but yeah definitely worth it 34.99 fantastic price for it right now on steam uh if you get other places it's probably gonna be around the same amount um if you want to go ahead and pay the 60 bucks you get a little bit of dlc extras um but overall i just think it's worth a try um if you never played warhammer 40k and uh or look into games uh this one here is going to be pretty fun, promising. Um, again, you know, give it a shot. I enjoyed it. Uh, hope everyone else does that does play it. Um, but like I said, it has enough potential to where you can see a lot of like uh, DLC for this coming out later on, or a lot more add-ons, or maybe a spin-off of this to where like you can play like as something else in general. It's just a cool system. And I'm kind of glad they went and did it the way they did. And I uh, hope to see more of it later on. But uh, anyway, this was my thoughts on uh, this game right here. Uh, thank you for stopping by. If you did, you'll end up watching it. Um, are you going to get this game, uh, Dark Tide, when it comes out? Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it, if you did play the beta. Um, if not, uh, what are you excited for coming up for uh, Warhammer in general? Uh, please let me know. Alright, and uh, just next time guys, be good to each other, and never forget to never stop smiling.